Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to set area margins of a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. So in the video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears. And if we want to plot these data with the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 5 and 6 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 6 of the code. And now we are able to draw a plot based on the ggplot2 package. So if we want to draw a ggplot2 plot with default area margins, we can apply the code that you can see in lines 8 and 9. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new plot object appears, which is called ggp. And we can also draw this plot to RStudio by running line 10 of the code. And now you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a gg plot is shown. So if we want to change the margins around this plot, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 12 and 13. So in line 13 of the code, I'm using the theme function. And within the theme function, I'm setting the plot margins to be equal to three centimeters on each side of the plot. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that a new plot is created at the bottom right of RStudio. And as you can see, we have increased the plot margins very much so that the plot in the middle is very small and the white space around the plot is very large. So in this video I have shown you how to set area margins of a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you give me a thumbs up on the video or if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.